All right, so what I want to show you, and this is just going to take just, just a couple minutes, just got a couple slides. I'm going to show you why selling properties fast, more times than not, is going to equal more profits. Not always the case, but what we see a lot in our industry is that people want to start high at a price that they know is overpriced, and if they don't get a sale, then they'll come down later. And so I just want to show you the, some of the, the hidden costs of keeping your house on the market month after month after month. So I'm going to show you an example of six months. So if you've got a house on the market uh, and it takes six months to sell at $200,000, during those six months that the house is on the market, you're looking at a little over $3,500 in interest. Uh, so your $935 house payment, 350 of that is going to principal. 585 of that is going to interest. That's six months of interest, 35, 10, down the drain that you'll never get back. Okay. And so that, that's kind of what we're looking at on this is, is money that you're never going to get back. Okay. And if 200,000 is the fair market value, then why not just start off at 200,000 instead of losing some of this money that you're never going to get back. So 35, 10 in interest. You've got 1,800 in utilities that you're never going to get back. So power, water, gas, internet, TV, $1,800 estimated. You know, yours might be more, yours might be a little bit less. But that's money that you're never going to get back on this house. So when it's on the market for six months, again, that's a hidden cost. You've got $300 in property taxes that you're paying on a house that you're not going to live in anymore, a house that you don't want anymore. Uh, so $50 a month average times six months, that's $300 over a six month period that you are never getting back. And then another hidden cost is your homeowner's insurance. Uh, I estimated about $100 a month. If you're in the house for six more months, that's $600 down the drain that you're never going to get back. So if you take this $200,000 and you subtract these hidden costs out here, your $200,000 sales price um, you know, this is assuming that you're not paying a, uh, a commission and, uh, and um, closing cost. You're looking at $193,790 if your house is on the market for six months versus one month. If it's on the market for one month, you're only looking at one interest payment. You're looking at uh, one month worth of utilities. You're looking at one month worth of property taxes and one month worth of homeowner's insurance. So side by side, if your house is on the, on the market for six months, you're looking at a net profit of $193,790 versus if the, if the, the property is on the market for one month, you're looking at $198,965 net profit. And that's a difference of $5,175 or 2.58%. So these are some of the costs that people don't think about when they say, you know, I, I really don't have to move. Uh, the bottom line is if you really want to move, why waste money and throw money down the drain on a house that you really don't even want? Uh, and, and, you know, if you're going to end up selling it for 200000 anyways, might as well put another $5,000 or 2.58% in your pocket. So, again, hidden cost of putting your house on the market, and that's why selling fast equals more profit.